What's going on guys, TTRX6 here for, I don't know, I guess it's a third party add-on kit, sort of. It's a Shapeways kit for the one and only Omnigonic Spinout. Yes, you didn't think you'd see this guy again, yet here he is. And let me tell you, right now, mine is probably more nail polish than he is uh, plastic at this point. Uh, I have made things incredibly, incredibly stiff to move, so... His joints actually function properly now. Uh, tightened up a lot of various things. Put a little more uh, thickness on parts. Uh, it was the only way I could get this silver plate to peg in like it's intended to. Um, yeah. So, it was brought to my attention at one point that, from my good friend Drew, who, who pointed out that uh, there is an Omnigonic kit on Shapeways. It's like for the black material which is what i picked up uh like 15 dollars plus shipping if you want the frosted ultra detail so you don't get any of that shapeways grain and stuff that's gonna run you 20 and you know if there's other ones it'll go up from there i just picked the cheap black one and what it says is it's a torso locking fix and a shoulder articulation fix so this is the old torso right here uh, on this guy and you can see when everything comes down here um, it rests here what this new torso does and let's see if we can pull it apart here you basically pop these screws out pull this piece like this right off and you can see it's got these two little like grooves right here and what that actually does is it allows when you bring the front down like this you can give it an extra push and it will lock that piece in place that said that's not one of my biggest complaints of the figure it does help with stability a lot but it did bring to light some other problems with this figure uh, notably on this side you can kind of see see how it's kind of coming apart here the screw that holds this in is so tiny it barely holds it in in fact to fix it I had to glue this side back together the other thing to note is the way this works see these holes right here on this side they attach to the inside of this panel in here, uh, right in the back there, you can see. Unfortunately, the screw holes on this one are not sized properly. Uh, let's see if I can pull this out so you guys can kind of get a better view of it here. Um, so it has to rotate on this joint because you have this, this assembly inside there that allows this whole piece to swivel down. And let's this back piece out here just like that so without this piece being able to swivel you can't transform it properly but the holes are so big in there that the screws just will push right in they don't grip anything uh, you can never use it and he does make a warning on the Shapeway site that uh, you're gonna have to mess with tolerances and stuff but I feel like the holes were not tested on the black strong and flexible he should have really made them smaller and let the screw thread actually carve out its own hole in there uh, as it stands I basically had to super glue uh, the screws into the spot here uh, so I can actually secure that in place but it does work and it does stiffen up the torso here at least a little but again like I said I'm not entirely certain that the stiffer torso uh, solved any of the problems that I really personally had with the figure. It leaves the legs completely unaddressed. It's also Shapeways material, so I could see this piece eventually kind of running its course and eventually not being very good for anything. And it didn't fix any of this stuff with the top up here uh, where it came to securing the head. So if you're hoping that that's what this fix is going to do, it's not. Just be aware of that. Um, that said, some extra nail polish on the, the silver here. And, well, still wants to fight me. Definitely still wants to fight. Let's see, can we get it in there? There we go. Some clear nail polish at the top, and you can make it work better, at least. So there's that, and I think at this point, I don't know, that is probably where I would stop with these upgrade kits. Uh, the second one 
is a shoulder fix. Now I have not done both shoulders, I've only done one of them. I wanted to show you what the difference is here. Uh, if you look, the whole ball joint socket is on this joint piece, whereas only half of it is on this. And that's important to note. So what this articulation actually fix lets you do, uh, it allows the arm to swivel out this way which I don't think really looks that great given how this works. Um, it doesn't do anything for me personally, uh, but it does give you more range of, of motion than you're going to get out of this. So I suppose it does have its utility uh, if you want to have his arm backwards or something like that. It does add something to the figure, but what's important to note here is that you cannot undo this fix. So let me take this off to show you. If you look at this back panel here on this part of that ball joint socket like I had pointed out here is actually formed by the back panel of his arm. When you replace it with this it's not going to go back together unless you actually sand away part of that back panel. There it is on this side. Uh, if that is not sanded away it's not going back together which means I can never reinstall the old one back on this side because it will never ever work again. So if that articulation is important to you, you certainly can add it. So I'm just going to leave this arm off because I'm going to do the other side here because um, no sense doing one and not the other. None of these fixes will hinder his ability to transform back and forth. They, they work just as you would intend uh, as if the figure came that way. But as you can see, it, it doesn't fix what to me is one of the biggest problems, which is this head section. Uh, that's a major problem, and none of this leg stuff is addressed by it. It does, again, sure up the torso, but you are going to create other problems for yourself. And honestly, if you don't know what you're doing with this and you seize those screws in place, you're going to mess up the whole toy. So I'd be very careful with the torso fix, uh, personally. But it's not a bad fix but it's also like a third of the cost of the figure if you're getting this guy on these blowout uh, sale prices so that's up to you it does add a little to the figure but he needs a lot of love and care down here before any of this stuff really matters and even then this, the part that was the problem to me not fixed so I just wanted to give you guys a little update and share the little shapeways kit and uh, hopefully enlighten you guys on how it works. So this is T2RX6. I hope you enjoyed the review, and I'll see you next time.